in the previous videos i have discussed the property number 3 so what is that property number 3 the property number 3 is in any determinant if the two any two rows or columns are of a determinant are identical then value of determinant is equal to 0 for example my students 1 2 3 1 2 1 1 2 3 in this case the row 1 elements and the row 3 elements are identical identical means what if uh, same elements 1 2 3 in the row 1 elements are 1 2 3 in the row 3 are uh, in the row 3 here also 1 2 3 elements are there it means row 1 and row 3 are equal it means the two rows of this determinant are identical then directly you can write the value of this determinant is equal to 0 clear so therefore if any two rows or columns of a determinant are identical then the value of the determinant is equal to 0 that is the third property i discussed in the previous videos and now my dear friends in the today's class i am going to discuss the property number 4 so what is that property number 4 the property number 4 says if each element of a row or column of a determinant is multiplied by a constant k then its value gets multiplied by k this is the statement now before verifying this property i will take one example so that clearly you can understand clear so my dear students i will take one example if i take the one determinant 1 2 3 4 so this is the one determinant i consider now i find out the determinant value of this so we know how to find determinant value of this so therefore this element into this element 4 into 1 is 4 minus 3 to the 6 and here the determinant value is minus 2 minus 6 plus 4 is minus 2 clear now my dear students i will take another one determinant delta 1 i will take here this but to this this i am taking here this to the first row i will multiply with k so if i multiply with k to the first uh, to this determinant i am multiplying with k each element first row each element of the first row i am multiplying with k so what i consider this k into 1 is k k into 2 is 2k and remaining elements are same that is nothing but the row 2 will remain as it is clear now my dear students solve this one if you solve i mean if you found the determinant value of this what happens let's see so 4 into k is 4k minus 3 into 2 so 3 to the 6k please remember whenever we have the determinant of order 2 how to find the determinant value that i discussed in the previous videos uh, i think probably in first videos i discussed it Clear. So therefore, the how to find my dish, I repeat, if the given determinant is of the order 2, the determinant value can be found by multiplying this element into this element. So therefore, 4k minus of this element into this element, 3 to the 6k. So therefore, this value is minus 6k plus 2k is, here it is, minus 2k. Clear. So then, my dear students, this can be written as, your delta 1 can be written as, minus k here it is minus 2 means what is the value of k here it is determinant into k clear so the statement or statement you can take or the property number 4 says that if now you can clearly understand the definition that by taking the example i took i taken here this one example in this example here you can clearly I, I understand this statement, property number 4. So, what it says, my dear students, if each element of a row or column of a determinant, this is the one determinant I consider, to this determinant, each element of a row or column of a determinant, to this determinant, any row or any column, you can consider, but in this particular example, I am taking first row. Clear. So, if each element of a row or column of a determinant is multiplied by a constant k, to this row 1, I multiplied with the constant k. Clear. So, constant k, then its value gets 
multiplied by k. It means so after multiplying to this determinant to the first row, I multiplied with the constant k. After multiplying this constant k, if you calculate the the, the value determinant value of this means that value is equals to k times constant k, then its value gets. It means this value gets multiplied by k. This value gets multiplied by k. Clear? It means that I have one determinant. I have one determinant here. It is to this determinant to the first row. I multiplied the constant k. After multiplying this constant k, if you calculate the value, whatever value you are getting, that value is nothing but multiple of to this. My whatever I solved here is normal determinant. Original you can call here this as the Original determinant. So to this original determinant, you you can multiply with that constant k. So this is the statement of the property number four. So please, my dear students, once again I repeat: if each element of a any row or column of a determinant is multiplied by a constant k to the determinant, any determinant to the first to the any row or any column, if you multiply with multiplied by with k means After multiplying this k, I am getting here this man, this determinant. So the value of this determinant is equals to the the k times multiple of the original determinant value. Clear? So therefore, my students, this is the you can call it as the one determinant, or you can take it as the original determinant. So to this determinant, I multiplied k each element of the first row. After multiplying this k, if you solve means the answer, whatever you will get. That answer is original multiple k times original multiple. Clear? So what is the original original determinant value is minus two minus two into k times multiple of the uh, original determinant value minus two into k. Clear? So I hope you understood my students. So this is very very uh, important property. While solving the questions, you can understand. So. By this property, what can I do means, my dear students, I can take common here. This from any row or any column, I can take column that I am discussing later. After this uh, proof, I'll discuss that one. So as of now, you should uh, you should know that if any determinant original, if any determinant, if I considered, then to that determinant, any row or any column is multiplied by with the constant k, then. The determinant value of this. I am not telling this determinant value. After multiplying constant k, if you solve this determinant, then the this value is this. After solving this multiplying k, if you solve the determinant of this, after if you calculating this value, the determinant value is equals to the k times multiple of the original determinant. Clear? And my dear students. The k it may be any number you can take one two three whatever you can take so that is the constant I am considering here. In general, I am taking here this k. Clear? I hope you understood. And now we will verify this property by taking one example. Clear? So this is the one particular example I am taking taken here this. Now I take general one determinant of the order three. So therefore, let us consider here, my dear friends. Let delta is equals to. I am taking here this a one, b one, c one, a two, b two, c two, a three, b three, c three. This is the one determinant I consider. Clear. Now again, let us take. Let us take the determinant. Let us take the another one. Let us, or else, let us multiply, or else, let delta one, delta one, be the, be the determinant, be the determinant obtained, be the determinant obtained by. Obtained by multiplying, obtained by multiplying k to each element of row 
y of delta. It means to this determinant, to the row 1, each element of the row 1, I am multiplying with k. So that after multiplying to this, this first row, after multiplying k, whatever I will get, that I am taking it as delta 1. Clear? So that's only I wrote. Let delta 1 be the determinant obtained by multiplying k to each element of row 1 of delta. To this delta, to the element of the row, every element of the row 1, I multiply it with k. So if you multiply it with k, means what are these my additions? k into a1, k into b2, k into c1. Next, a2, b2, c2, a3, b3, c3. Clear? So, next, you can solve my additions further. I expand this through R1. So, now, I will expand. Expanding through row 1. Again, you can consider any, either you can expand along the row 1 or you can expand along the row 2. But as of now, my additions are expand along row 1. Expanding. Expanding along row 1. So, to this row 1, I am expanding. And before expanding, what I told, we should take the sign here. Plus, minus, plus. Clear. So, now, expand this one, my dear students. So, if after expanding this, I am getting here this. Delta 1 is equal to here this. Plus into K A 1. K A 1 plus into k a1, a1, leave this column and this one. So now b2 into c3, b2 into c3, next minus of, minus of b3 into c2, b3 into c2. Next minus of here, minus of kb1, minus of kb1. Again, my additions, leave this row and this column. Next, a2 into c3. a2 into c3 minus, here it is, a3 into c2. a3 into c2. Clear. And next, plus k into, plus k into c1. Clear. And now, leave this row and this column. a2 into b3. A2 into B3 minus of A3 into B2. Clear. So just I'll check whether it's visible to you or not. Yeah, it's visible to you. So now further simplify this, my dear students. Further, if you simplify it means you will get here it is the delta 1 is equal to here. Here also K is present, here also K is present, here also K is present. So now I will take the K outside my additions. So if I take the K outside means, what are the elements remaining that is A1 into remaining as it is B2 C3 minus B3 C2. Next K is already taken outside. So remaining elements is B1 A2 C3 minus A3 C2. Next, my additions k here also I am taking already outside. So here it is plus c1 into a2 b3 minus a3 b2. So therefore, delta 1 is equal to I can write here this k into my dear students. Please remember if I a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c3. You can verify my dear students. K is here, K is already, I have taken outside here, I am writing as it is. Now my addition is, if you solve this determinant, you will get this value only. You can verify yourself. If you solve this determinant, you will get the same value. So therefore, instead of writing all this, I am writing determinant of A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2, A3, B3, C3. You can observe, if you solve the determinant of this, again you will get same with this only. So clear, I am writing instead of this step, I am writing this one because I am finding the relation between these two because I am going to, I, have, I wanted to prove this result. So for that reason, I am expressing this in terms of this determinant. Both are same, my dear students. 
please remember if you solve this one you will get this term so from for, from this and this there is no any different if there is no any variation both values are same only only the expressing way is different if you solve this one you will get this much only so now my dear students you can write delta 1 is equals to k into so what is this determine a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c3 this is nothing but your delta so therefore my dear students you can clearly so observe the statement clear so now either you can write like this or else what is delta 1 my dear students delta 1 is here this delta 1 is here this k into a1 k into b1 k into c1 and here it is a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c3 this is your delta 1 value delta 1 is that that much next condition is equals to equals to k into what is determinant this delta delta is nothing but just i am writing the delta value so that is a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c3 so therefore clearly you can verify there this clearly you can check the given this condition shows us this given statement clear so i hope you understood so you don't have any doubts here clear so my dear students whenever you have any one determinant to this determinant to the any rows or to the any columns if you multiply with the constant k then you will get this one now the determinant value of this is the determinant value of this is k times multiple of the original determinant original determinant mean what or original determinant means before multiplying the k to the I mean, any element any row or column of a determinant clear that's why this i i can call it as the original determinant here this i am calling it as the original determinant and this i will call it as the this is the determinant obtained by multiplying k to each any one row or any column that's your wish or depending upon the situation so this is the original determinant this is the another determinant obtained by multiplying k in this case i am talking this is the original determinant this is the determinant i obtained to this to the original determinant to the first row i am multiplying with k so this is the that this is the determinant i obtained by multiplying k to the row one of the original determinant so now after multiplying this i got the delta one i named it as the delta one so the determinant value of this is equals to my students what is that by this determinant the value of this determinant is equals to k times multiple of the original determinant this is your original determinant clear i hope you don't have any doubts so now i'll explain in kannada my students so yen helta nimu ant helta yavade ondu determinant ikka kannada matra so yavade ondu determinant ge neevu yavade rows ge athava yavade columns ge ondu constant k inda multiply madidra anda clear so idu k inda idu multiply madidra so ee determinant value yadu equal irutte ant helidra k times yav yav iga first one na inu yav value inda multiply madidra k inda multiply madidra so k inda multiply madidra ಇದರ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಡಿಟರ್ಮಿನೆಂಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಮೇಲೆ ಯಾವ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ k ಏನು k ಅನ್ನು ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಸೋ k ಇಂಟು ಈ ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ಡಿಟರ್ಮಿನೆಂಟ್ k ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಮೊದಲು ನಮಗೆ ಏನು ಡಿಟರ್ಮಿನೆಂಟ್ ಇತ್ತು ಆ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಂದ k ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಏನು ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಬಂದಿತ್ತು ಅಷ್ಟು ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಈ ಡಿಟರ್ಮಿನೆಂಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಈ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ನಾವು ತಿಳ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋಣ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಆಮೇಲೆ ರಿಮೈನಿಂಗ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಇದು k ಈ ಡಿಟರ್ಮಿನೆಂಟ್ ಗೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಹೋಗಿ k ಅನ್ನು ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇನೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇದರ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಅನ್ನು ನಾನು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇನೆ ಡಿಟರ್ಮಿನೆಂಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಅನ್ನು ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ರೋ ರೋ 1 ಇಂದ ನಾನು ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇನೆ ನನಗೆ ಈ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿತು ಸೋ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರೂಫ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ನಂಬರ್ 4 ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡಿಶನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಈ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ನಾನು ಹೇಗೆ ಮಾಡ್ತೇನೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಎರಡು ನೋಟ್ ಗ
that note first na namage ile adana barittene baradaga namage enakute easy understand aagutte so yaradu notes note anna nanu study martene just i wrote that notes as my dear students i wrote here as a remarks either you can take as the remarks or you can take it as the note so what is the first note says here guys before discussing these two notes once again again i repeat the property number 4 because very very important uh, what you, where you may get confused means somewhere here then its value gets multiplied by k it means whose determinant like that you may have confusions so therefore therefore just i repeat once so if each element of a row or column of a determinant is multiplied by a constant k so one determinant i considered a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c3 one determinant i consider to that determinant if you multiplied k with any row or any column so in this in this particular example i multiplied k with the row 1 so after multiplying this by multiplied by a constant k then its value gets multiplied by k then its value its value means whose value after multiplying k to this original determinant whatever you multiplied with k this determinant value it means this determinant to the original determinant whatever the constant you multiplied and multiplied this determinant value is equals to k times multiple of its determinant value gets multiplied by k this value is gets multiplied by k clear it means what to the original determinant k times multiple of the original determinant clear that's what they wrote then its value gets multiplied by k it means this value gets multiplied by k of the, to the original determinant so it means after if you solve this one means its value is multiple of k always this value is multiple of k clear either you can say like this or my k times multiple of the original determinant like that also you can see so last this is the statement now my students by this property if you understand this property very well means then you will easily understand this remarks so the first remark is by above property we can take out any common factor from any one row or any one column of a determinant clear it means what it says by this property if any determinant if we have suppose in this case the row one is k times multiplied with k times each element is multiplied with k so therefore if you solve this the answer the answer is k times multiple of the original so therefore my dear students to the any determinant here this in such cases if any determinant the any determinant if the values of if the any row or any column is multiple of the k any row either it may be row 1 or row 2 or row 3 or column 1 or column 2 or column 3 so in the given determinant if any rows or columns is multiple of k then from that determinant you can take k common clear so this is the first property says so by above property we can take out any common factor from any one row or any one column of a determinant so in the determinant if any row or column is multiple of k in such cases we can take that k easily clear so now my students for this i take one example suppose here it is uh, delta is equals to 1 2 3 4 i'm taking another one delta 1 here it is so what is that to this element to the first row i'm multiplying with 2 2 ones are 2 2 twos are 4 my dear students the value of in such cases you can take here from this i can take here this this i can write it as 2 into 1 2 into 2 2 can written as 2 into 1 4 can written as 2 into 2 3 4 here you can observe in the row 1 here also 2 is there here also 2 is there it means the first here it is to this determinant every element is multiplied with k so the first note note says don't confuse with this all just consider the one determinant 2 4 3 4 clear in this determinant 
to the row 1 i can take two common for each element of the row 1 from this two this two can be can be written as 2 into 1 this four can be written as 2 into 2 it means here also 2 is present here also 2 is present so therefore in such cases i can take from this from this delta 1 from this i can take two common and after taking from the row 1 i can take two common and remaining elements one here this two and three four like this i can write this is what our first property says so what is first property by this above property we can take out any common factor from any one row or any one column of a given determinant clear so in any given determinant Either you know, from the row 1 you can take any common factor or you can take any common factor from the uh, column also. But in this particular example, in the row 1 only we can take 2 common. So therefore, this can be written as 2 into like this. So why this is why this is useful means whenever you have a such type of determinant, in this case you can easily take the common 2 common from the row 1. So you can write 2 into like this. I can write like this because of this property. What the property says? If any element of the determinant is multiple of constant, in this case k value, the constant act with constant will act as 2. In this case, so therefore this can be written as 2 times multiple of original determinant. 2 times multiple of. So you can take by this property, you can take common. So don't get confused. This is all just proof I am given to you for the first given. So, if it is understood, okay. Otherwise, if you can't understand means leave this. Just you should understood that in any determinant, in any determinant, if it's possible to take the common in any row or column, then in that case, you can take the two outside and remaining elements you can write like this. Clear? So, this is what our first property says. And next my dear students, second property. So, what is the second property says means? So the second property, to prove the second property, I will take one example. So then you can clearly understand. So what is the example means? I will take it as, so my dear students, I am taking one example. That is of your inside textbook. It is there. I will take one example. Evaluate. Evaluate. 102, 18, 36, 1, 3, 4, 17, 3, 6. So, this is the one example I am taking here. It is my dear students. So, before understanding the property 2, uh, sorry, remark 2, first what I will do, I will try to solve this one. If you solve the I after solving this, you will come to know what, uh, what is the remark 2 says. So for this, first my dear students, I will solve this one. Before solving this one, my dear students, I am taking let us let us take it as delta. So let delta is equal to 102. Can I write 102 as 6 into 17? What 6 into 17 is 102. And now my dear students, 18, can I write it as 6 into 3. Next, my dear students, 36 can I write it as 6 into 6. Just observe to the from the property 1, just I am taking 6 common from the above row. So 102 can be written as 6 into 17, 6, 18 can be written as 6 into, 6 into 3, 36 can be written as 6 into 6. And remaining elements write as it is 1, 3, 4, 17, 3, 6. So next question is according to this property or from the remark one, what I said? I said that from the any row or any column, we can take the common term outside. So here, here of 6 is present, here of 6 is present, here of 6 is present. From this property, I can take out 6 common, 6 outside from the row 1. So what are the elements remaining? 17, 3, 6. Remaining elements. 1, 3, 4, 17, 3, 6. Clear? Yes. My dear students, next you can observe here. In this determinant, row 1 and row 3 are similar. Am I correct? Yes. Here, 17, 3, 6 in the row 1 elements are. 
and similar same in the row 3 also the elements are same 17 3 6 only clear it means that we discussed in the previous video that is property number 3 what i discussed in the property number 3 in in the determinant if any two rows or any two columns are identical then value of this determinant is equal to 0 that i discussed in the property number 3 so please my dear students whenever you are attending my videos whenever you are watching my videos please keep in mind you should always uh, see you should always be see my last videos then only you will understand this one so please my it's my humble request to you please try to watch my previous videos then only you can understand my videos otherwise you can't understand clear yes my dear students so therefore here it is this one and row 3 are similar by the property number by the property number 3 this determinant value is 0 0 into 6 is equal to 0 clear so therefore my dear students you can just see observe here if corresponding elements of any two rows or columns of a determinant are proportional in the or in the same ratio then its value is 0. This is because, my dear students, proportional means what? Here, you can observe this row 1 and row 3 are proportional. You can say it as proportional, it may be proportional, or this row 1 and row 3 are corresponding elements, corresponding elements of any two rows. So, row 1 and row 3 are, you can say here, this row 1 and row 3 are corresponding elements of rows, any two rows of a determinant are proportional or in the same ratio here 17 3 6 you can observe in this case of 17 3 6 these are in the same ratio so in such cases what happens my difference from this i have taken here the 6 outside by the property number here this or by the remark one i can take common after taking any common here this then this will become same row 1 and row 3 will become same so in such cases the value of this determinant is equal to 0 then 0 and anything is 0 so therefore whenever the in the given determinant whenever the any two rows or columns of any of determinant are proportional or in the same ratio then its value is 0 clear so the why it is so here i solved the proof for by taking this particular example clear so, my dear students, like this, you can solve the, the different questions in your uh, insert from taking insert test books. You can have such type of questions. Please remember, these all questions, these uh, such type of questions, they won't ask in your examinations. But by using this property, I am going to solve the four marks important questions. In that case, these all are very very useful to you. Please remember, generally they won't ask proof for this clear conditions. Don't be worry about this. If you are getting confused with the proof, so don't think much much about that. Just remember the results because these results are very very important. By using these results only, I can able to solve the questions that I am discussing after completion of these properties. Clear? So I hope you understood. Just I will uh, once briefly I will explain in Kanda. So my note you can first property in the other by the above property we can take out any common factor. So E property in the other one determinant L Yaude only determinant L Nana row one as well column one column two column three row two row three in the Yaude are the common elements in the Tagyo possible in Tandra Nimir Matodu Adana for a Tagodu Irit Bari Bodu common to Bodu row one like it rest row uh, sorry row one like it rest on the bodu row two like it to bodu row three like it to bodu Athava Yaude one column on the lake column two only column three lake Yaude three common elements in Tandra New Adana bracket in our I mean determinant in a paradise Irit Bari Bodu It is a motherly property Next second property is the if corresponding elements of corresponding any uh, uh, corresponding elements of any two rows, any two columns, or uh, rows, and the So, I think in the moment, you can briefly have a point. One determinant, yeah, they are the row, 
सम नंबर इन्ना मल्टीप्लाई मारते इतने अथवा कॉमन तल दागा यार वाले वाले रो सेम आता ही तो अंदर इन्हें ऑब्जर्व मार दो इन फर्स्ट तो लाइन मार दे सिक्स है ना कॉमन तल दे सिक्स है ना कॉमन तो होना का सेवेंटीन थ्री सिक्स है तो इली सेवेंटीन थ्री सिक्स है अब ये नहीं तो रोवर में तो रोत्री